else is a dead raccoon in the back? Raccoons in the frozen food section. You've probably never been to Metro Supermarket the in Temple whole City. whole raccoon sold in a bag for $9.99 a pound, which they say is a delicacy in China. This, this is a dead raccoon. In the back. Raccoons in the frozen food section. You've probably never been to Metro Supermarket the in Temple City. The whole raccoon sold in a bag for $9.99 a pound, which they... Shalom, Kohalo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, in name is only begotten Son, in name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, and uh, blessings to the 144,000, man. And uh, real quick in this video, it says, California woman finds dead animals at Chinese supermarket. You know, so they're pretty much selling roadkill, man, at this fucking point. And then they want 50, oh, oh, over $50 for it. <laughs> Somebody found a dead raccoon on the side of the road or on the street. And talking about $9.99 a pound, man, for a dead raccoon. Okay. At a, a supermarket Chinese in Temple market, raccoon. Man. And they said in it's the a back. delicacy in them, uh, in them. Dead raccoon. In the back. Raccoons in the frozen food section. They said it's a delicacy. The food section. In, uh, in the back. Raccoons in the. And China, man. Look at those teeth. Them motherfuckers like you got rabies, man. So we live in a very, very wicked world. And these heathen nations are going absolutely the fuck off. Okay? And in our kingdom, none of this is going to be happening. In our kingdom, you won't have to worry about seeing something like this, man. Okay? It's going to be unheard of. All right? So for that, I want, I want to start with um, Leviticus chapter 11. Verse 26, let me jump up to verse 1 first. It says, And the Lord spake, Yahweh spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying that these are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are upon that are upon the earth. Okay, so the Lord gave us, um, which the children of Israel start, you know, as you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians, which, you know, we're coming back to the ways of our Lord, but also the whole world is going to come back to the ways of, ways of Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, under our rule. You know when, when when we're in power all right so let's go down verse 26 it says the carcass of every beast which divideth uh which divideth the hoof and is not cloven footed or cheweth the cud are unclean to you everyone that toucheth them shall be unclean so if the if, if the animal does not have uh clo uh divide divided the hoof and is not cloven footed nor cheweth the cud and those those are three characteristics this animal must have. If it does not have that, you cannot eat it. Okay, it is unclean. It's not food. All right. And for for them for them, uh, damn, I almost said it. For those Chinese people <laughs> to have that damn raccoon in that bag, you know, for for for, for damn that sixty dollars, trying to sell it, you know, like that, like that, that's disgusting. And they said it's a delicacy in China. Well, China's about to get you know destroyed, man. China's about to be put, you know, back 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 in order. You know, all them people over there, they're going to have to be destroyed and come back. It says, um, and whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. And that's what uh, raccoons do. They travel upon four, upon all fours. It says, those are unclean unto you. Whoso toucheth their carcass shall be unclean until the evening. So you're not even supposed to touch their bodies. Okay. It's off. It says, And he that beareth the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean unto you. So you're not supposed to touch it. You're not supposed to be have nothing, nothing to do with it, man. All right. It says, These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, which raccoons creep. You know, they creep upon the earth. They're, they're, they're bottom feeders. They're, they're night crawlers. Okay, they come out at night and dig in the trash cans and stuff. It says, and then they will feed it to us a delicacy, man. This place is completely jacked up, and it's going to be put back into its righteous order. And, and this is why we, you know, look for a new heavens and a new earth where in the well of righteousness. Lord, I can grab that if I don't forget. But it says, um, it says, uh, uh, the weasel and the mouse and the tortoise after his kind and the ferret and the ca chameleon. And the lizard and the snail and the mole 
these are unclean to you among all that creep whatsoever doth touch them whosoever doth touch them when they be dead shall be unclean unto the evening right so you're not supposed to touch them man you know you're not supposed to touch these animals much less eat them you see we live in a wicked world where, 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 where they'll say you anything and you, you people will eat anything man you know no type of morals or principles anymore you know, so the Lord will have to, you know, destroy a lot of the, these uh, nations, man. Uh, this is uh, Leviticus 11, verse 44. For I am Yahweh, your power. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves and be and ye shall be holy for I am holy meaning separate you can't be like everybody else you we ain't doing what these damn um uh, moabites doing which is the chinese neither shall you defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so you eat that shit you are defiling yourself it says for i am yahweh that bringeth you out of the land of egypt to be your power ye shall therefore be holy for i am holy so like you this is the law of the beast and of the fowls <laughs> and of the fowls and every living uh and, and every living creature that moveth in the waters for every creature that creepeth upon the earth and for and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference between the unclean and the clean and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten so everything ain't food man this is not no damn food that's not supposed to be eaten man okay you're not supposed to be you know, chowing down on damn damn raccoon. This is disgusting. All right, let's go here. It says, um, this is Psalm chapter 108 in the NLT. It says, but Moab, my wash basin or wash pot will become my servant. You damn ooks going to become servants, man. You're going to serve us and we ain't, we ain't going to be having this shit. It says, and I will wipe my feet with Edom and shout in the triumph uh, over uh, Philistia. I mean, you, you heathen nations are gonna go down. You know, you're gonna be put out of you know power and rule and authority, man. Right now, you go to China, they're in authority. Guess what? That, that, that's gonna come to an end. It says, who will bring me unto the unto the fortified city? Uh, who will bring me victory over Edom? Have you rejected us, O power? Will you no longer march with our armies? Oh, please help us against our enemies, for all human help is useless. Right, and we have many enemies, man. Including the Moabites. Okay. Including Esau. Go read Psalm chapter 83. It says. Uh, With the most high's help. We will do mighty things. For he will trample down our foes. Right. He going to trample down our foes man. You, know, you ain't going to be able to do this. You know madness that, that, that they doing in the earth now. You know. It's, 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 it's going to come to naught man. Alright. The Lord is going to get, 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 get rid of all this wickedness man. Um, new heaven. I want to grab this in the. I, 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 I think I'm gonna grab it in the, in the NLT. We should see what it say. I like going into this NLT, man, because this NLT is a. Uh, it's deep. It says. Let me see if it's on point though. It says. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 21 verse 1 new, the, the new Jerusalem then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared it's going to be completely done away with man this particular kingdom and rulership is going to be done away with it says and the sea was also gone and I saw the holy city that new Jerusalem that's not what I'm looking for actually that's not what I'm looking for um yeah, Second Peter, three verse thirteen, Salakia. So Salakia so about that. But we are looking for a new heavens and a new earth, okay? But we're in dwell of righteousness, okay? And this place is totally wicked. It's totally wicked, man. Let's go to verse thirteen. It says, uh, Salakia. So says but we are looking forward to the new heavens and the new earth he has promised 
a world filled with God's righteousness. See, this is a world that's not filled with God's righteousness. This is a world that's filled with wickedness. So we're looking for a new heavens and a new earth and a world that's filled with God's righteousness. Okay. It says, and so, dear friends, while you are waiting for these things to happen, make every effort to be found living peaceful lives that are pure and blameless in his sight. Right. You eating the damn raccoon. That's not a pure life. You are, you, you are a monster. Okay. Even the damn vultures don't eat, you know, dead raccoons and roadkill and stuff, man. You'll see that stuff just, you know, going bad, you know, because they know, okay, and, and they're bottom feeders. It says, that's the point on that, that's the point on that. I want to uh, grab this too, and I'll close out with this. It says, um, this is the book of Philippians, chapter, Philippians chapter um, 2, verse uh nine it says wherefore the most high also have highly exalted him and given him a name which uh, is above every name that at the name of yahweh shai every knee should bow and of the things in heaven and the things in earth and the things under the earth and every tongue should confess that yahweh shai hamashiach is lord to the glory of our power forever it's like to the glory of our father of our of our power, the Father, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Um, because, you know, right now, these these nations, they follow their own gods, they're doing their own thing. But you all going to come to the understanding that you're going to serve and worship Yahweh Bashem El Shai, man. And you're going to follow our laws and commandments. And if you don't, you're going to be beaten with a rod of iron. Okay? Let me grab that. I'll close out with that. And this is why, because these heathens, just like children, they're not fit to rule over themselves. They must have a, a, a nation ruling over them. Okay? You, we, we supposed to rule over you, man. You don't know how to rule over yourself. You, eating, you, you are eating roadkill. That's like a damn child will go out, you know, go out there and just playing and, you know, his own, playing his own shit. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's what children do, man. So these nations are children. You know? It says Psalm chapter 2, verse... Um, Verse 9, it says, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. You see? So you ain't going to be able to do what you want to do, man. Let me go up a little bit. It says, um, Verse 8, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possessions. So we're going to literally have the heathen for an inheritance, which starts with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. But we, we want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So that part of that means we're going to get these heathen for an inheritance, man. You're going to be, you know, our spoils. And we're going to uh, uh, put you in, in your right mind. Because right now you ain't in your right mind. All right, but that's the point. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame, Shalom, Ababa, Ball. This is the f***ing dead rat.